What's going on guys? Well, Travis is out skating and uh, I am out here trying to figure out why exactly my car is cranking slow. I think I already did. Chris basically came in here and said like, hey, he basically came in here and was like, hey, um, the wire you're using for your ground or for your starter power is like way too small, which I mean is understandable because it was literally just a cut up extension cord not extension cord, uh, cut up jumper cable. So putting the battery in the front on the stock ground and I'm gonna, you know, I cut a good amount off of this. If anything, I can just take the wire from here and it's not that bad. I don't have to take anything apart. I thought I was gonna have to take the starter out, but I, because I have this splitter here, I just have to take this cable right here that goes back to the, uh, the battery and uh, get a bigger one. But honestly, I would not mind running my battery right here because that is the stock location. It's made for that. So, right away, not even doing anything yet. I'm just trying to start this thing. So I'm going to get right to that and uh, redo this a little bit. So, let's see if this thing cranks a little bit faster. We'll prime it again. All right, see if she cranks faster. Okay, well, that figures that out. Cranks way faster. All righty, brethren. There's the freaking stock battery box. Found it, bolted it back up. Now I can use my tie down. I actually have my battery that I was using before that has been sitting on the floor all damn winter last like five, six months, whoever's counting, let me know. That's charging up right now. Now I get to simplify this wiring and make it nice and, uh, you know, OEM looking. It's gonna be tight. All right, well, I got this all nice and cleaned up. That's nice and, you know, loomed. I zip tied the end of the loom, everything, you know, heat wrapped or heat shrunk and then I actually used the stock ground, I cut off the stock connector, used this connector, and I added another piece of uh, wire to ground it just in case, and the ground goes from there to there. So negative will be right there, positive will be right there. My stock battery will fit in nicely. I can use my battery tie down, and the fuse box I'm gonna mount right here. I'm probably gonna make a plate though, so it's not just kinda chilling. But that's coming, that came together real nicely. Boom, well there that is. Nice and double grounded. Nice, everything's all loomed. Every, all the, you know, everything is where it should be. And now I can put like the, well, this is not the battery cover. I actually ordered one off of eBay because no one really hit me up. But I just ordered one off eBay. So the other side will be on there and the battery will be under it just like the top of it will tell you because it says the battery on it. And uh, yeah. This thing should be good, you know, charging. It's been like a half hour, so Let's see if it cranks a little bit. Also, I found this freaking puddle of oil under my car. I thought I was good. I thought I was good when I was like, when I was like, yeah, dude, I don't have any fucking oil leaks. Like that's sick. But uh, got an oil leak. So I'm gonna jack the front of the car up, look underneath it, and uh, hopefully figure out what exactly is leaking. And I really hope it's not the oil pan. Cause that'd be the worst. Can we just take like a, a quick second to just like appreciate the... Ooh. This is, this is just good lighting, dude. This is like perfect lighting for the flake. Like it's not blinding, but you can, you can see it, you know? Well, now that I got stuff kind of like figured out, sorted out, uh, I'm going to give it another, another whack at the tuning. And uh, if it's dark out, then that means I was just playing with the damn tuning for too long and waiting for Jimmy to get here. But I don't know. I'll see you guys whenever. So Callie was being a little impatient and she wanted to uh, do the engine swap like now, you know, like you guys want my Z done now, save, save the concept. And I was like, yo not until we get a clutch and she's like 
I can't afford a clutch. So I'm like, well, then we're not putting the engine in. So then I took this off and I was like, look, this is why I'm not doing a clutch twice. Because you know, it's like, if anyone's done a clutch in one of these cars or any car for that, like, for that matter, like, you don't want to do a clutch twice. You don't, like, if, if you have the opportunity to do it outside the car, so she's like, hey, too bad, sucks. Like, I'm going to use the stock clutch. I'm like, nah. And I had, like, a fake argument with her. And then she was like, I'm going to do it. Let me tell you why. And she was like, the car drove fine before, so, like, it's going to be good. And I was like, bet, let me tell you why. Boom, screenshot, paid eBay. Got the new clutch and flywheel. On the way, boys. Expect that swap soon. I did some stuff. I don't know. Let's let's see see what it does. I, I don't think it's gonna do anything, but we'll see if it starts. Doubt it. Ugh! Damn it! Oh! Oh! It fucking started! Son of a bitch! God damn, boy! Dude, I'm bugging out. Shit. Dude, oh, I did not shit. expect that. Holy I did not shit. expect that shit. Oh my god. What the whole... Dude, you got that on Snap? <laughs> We're... Alright, 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 alright. Okay. I'm shitting a little bit, alright? I'm like shaking. <laughs> okay, so I got my car started by myself. I don't know how, but it started. Um, I calibrated my TPS and some other shit. Uh, it is, we're gonna do it again. It's probably leaking a bunch of oil, but we gonna. That's the first thing. Yo, this is the first startup it's ever. Live, dude. That was insane. <laughs> All right, yo, you wanna go in back and fucking film it a little bit? Yeah, dude, the idol's crazy. a little freaking high. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that was so loud. Someone's pissing. Yeah, hold on. Huh? I feel like I hear shit pissing out. Maybe a little oil. No, it's outside, actually. Shit's pissing. What? I hear stuff coming out, I think. All right, well, there's a shit ton of oil on the ground under my car, so obviously I got a big bitch of a fucking leak. So um, now that it actually starts, I'm going to actually jack up the car and stop chilling, and I'm going to freaking find out where the hell this oil's coming from. We're definitely going to have to run to Walmart for some damn kitty litter, but... Hey, dude! Cause he's rocking the HG sunglasses at night time, dude. You know what I'm saying? Sketchy moves. Well, we're gonna go to Walmart and uh, get some kitty litter. Now that I actually have the uh, motivation to get under there and find that leak. Cause now that I know, it has a chance of idling. Dude, it's fucking PewDiePie. It's not even heavy, dude. Got that clumping... Clump man's. I want my griller now. Shut up! Well, that was the whole thing of kitty litter. Hopefully this doesn't happen again because I only got one. Now we just let it soak and eat our damn Taco Bell, boy. Get out of there. Get you out of there, boy. All right, so there's oil all over the freaking the alternator. There's oil on my motor mount, so it's not the oil pan. That's good. That's real good. All right. Now the problem being, where the hell is it coming from? So I think this thing right here on my car is missing. Like there's no plug in it. So I'm gonna take that out. I'm gonna take out my alternator and see. Cause I can see that there's nothing in that port right there. So once that would make sense, once it gets a shit ton of oil pressure from this massive pump in there, then it would just piss out all over the oil, the alternator and everything. So. We'll go ahead and take my alternator off. 
Oh yes, that, let me brighten this a little bit. Right there, that whole dead center of the screen. Let me brighten it a little bit more. There you go, now you can see it mint. See the threads right there? There's nothing in it! I need to put something in there now! I don't have anything that big, I need to get something now. Shit. So this AN like fuel rail cap might actually save the day. This came with my eBay kit, so I'm gonna see if I can just fire this in there and hopefully it works. Uh, you can kind of see the blue in there. I don't think it's going anywhere. I just kind of impacted it on, so hopefully that holds up. All right, so the major oil leak is fixed, but I also found that the oil relocation kit, like block that goes in the can and pan is leaking. So I don't know why, maybe the O-ring was displaced or something like that, but the main leak is gone for now. I'm going to put the alternator back on, put the belt back on, push the car forward so whatever does leak out will leak onto this. And uh, I'll just make sure there's oil in it. We'll try to start it up again. And then tomorrow I'll have to maybe go in there, either get new O-rings or maybe put like add some black RTV or something like that. I don't know why it wouldn't seal up, but yeah, that's what I got to do now. All right, well, actually I got I to gotta turn the sound sensitivity like down on this so it doesn't sound like fucking... Homestead is this Jimmy Ox? <laughs> you said his name funny. What's up, brethren? Oh, it's all good. Um, well, at first I called you to ask if there was any oil ports on the side of the engine. To which I figured out there was a massive one, like right behind the alternator, with nothing in it. Yeah, but my car started. Yeah, it ran. Not long, it like started and then shut off, but it, I also had a massive fuel leak, so I think, I think that might have played a part. I didn't put a tune on the ECU or anything. Yeah, I literally just like hooked up the mega squirt and I calibrated my TPS and shit and it just started up. Yeah. You coming through tonight? All right, it's Grizzy. I was going to go to your shop and raid you for bolts. I still might, because it's a fat bitch. I just, dude, dude the, the AN fitting, like the plug that comes with the eBay fuel rails, that's what I use to plug that hole. So I don't, it doesn't leak anymore. The only leak I, I have now is um, like the uh, oil filter relocation block that comes with the can pan. I'm going to take that off tomorrow, drain the oil in a black RTV or get new ring seals or something. But yeah. That's all I wanted. Thanks. All right, I'll see you tomorrow then. All right, peace out. All right, we're going to start the bitch now. Nah. Go. All right, the sensitivity is down so you guys can hear the dang exhaust. If it starts again, it might not. Who knows? It's very temperamental. It's not tuned. <coughs> You flooded it. Take off, on, take this, put it up in there. It started. Woo! All right, let's try it again. Oh, Look at that. <laughs> Won't see if I could rev it. All right, well, I think I'm done fucking with this thing for the night because uh, tomorrow I have a lot of cleaning to do because another leak has sprung, which is not tight. Now it's not coming from the front, it's coming from the back. So I'm assuming that fucking Canton block piece of shit is fucking leaking. God damn it. Also, I want to clear something up for you guys, you internet mechanics, you, uh, you fucking guys out there. 
um, everyone's saying like, oh, dude, like in the video where we picked up Callie's engine where I said you need new valve covers. For the 98% of you that are uninformed about this, um, on VQs, because <coughs> valve, valve cover gaskets on these mean nothing. You can replace the valve cover gaskets. The problem lies in here in the non-replaceable spark plug tube seals, which are down there, you know. And the only way, the only way to replace those is either you go to Z1 and you get a kit and it's like 130 bucks or something like that. You literally have to drill them out and put new seals in there because they're non-replaceable, which is why I said you need new valve covers, not valve cover gaskets. Or you can go buy OEM valve covers for 400 bucks, or you can be like me and stockpile them. And uh, actually, I met this kid once who drove all the way from like some far-ass place in New York and gave me valve covers for free and then told people that he sold them to me. But he was a fan, so he came here for free. I don't like saying the word fan, but he said he was a big fan. I don't know. All right. I think this is where I'm going to end the night. We're chilling. We got the fire going. Travis is going to be editing a video. Sub. Subscribe to Travis's channel, dude. Link in the description. He, guys, look, he ain't monetized, but he's just trying to... Here, I'm going to flip this so you can hear it better. All right, bet. Let me know. Uh, I'll go do some golf course vlogs. I'll go to the trampoline <laughs> park. You want to see obstacle courses, let me know. I'm down for whatever. Yeah, because it's just like golf course. Yeah. Finance uh, assistance vlogs. Yeah, yeah, I could do that. I do have a degree. I don't know. He just, he, he went, you went, what? You went to the skate park today and you were just like, you know what? I'm going to film. Yeah, I mean, I had some unused clips from yesterday. Some clips from today. I was like, damn, I got enough for a whole solo video. Yeah, so. Why I left Haggard North. <laughs> Clickbait. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so subscribe to Travis if you want to see, like, whatever he's doing and is in his spare time all of my sr knowledge compiled into one video yes <laughs> the, the whole the whole thing he yes, just he it. dismantled the whole damn engine what was it yesterday or today yesterday and today but it's one video yeah it's all good all right peace out nick i'm here also <laughs> yeah i said peace out though like dude get in oh, your wait, get, get in your car hold bro <laughs> <laughs> all right well yeah so my car is leaking all the oil i cleaned most of it up i'm gonna drain the oil reseal everything tomorrow everything it's just that fucking block but that's about it peace out I'll see you guys next time